Ah, fast food. It's greasy, unfulfilling and seriously bad for you. But damn, is it hard not to love it. Still, there are a few menu items you'll want to keep away from, no matter how decadent you're feeling. These are the unhealthy fast foods you should always avoid. If you were going to pick the unhealthiest item off the McDonald's menu, you'd probably choose one of their burgers, right? As it turns out, however, the unhealthiest McDonald's dish is a breakfast option, specifically their big breakfast platter. Order this heaping plate of breakfasty goodness and you'll get a warm biscuit, sausage patty, multiple hash browns, three pancakes with syrup and butter, and a mountain of scrambled eggs. All in all, the platter adds up to 1,340 calories and 63 grams of fat, which is almost your entire daily recommended intake of fat. It's also more than half of your calorific allotment for the day, which isn't a great start when you haven't even gotten to lunch yet. If you want to stick to the healthier options on the McDonald's breakfast menu, you'd be best going with the fruit and maple oatmeal, which contains just 320 calories, or the classic Egg McMuffin, which clocks in at 310. You'd be forgiven for thinking that Chipotle tends to err towards healthier foods, compared to some of the more burger-centric fast food joints. After all, almost everything they serve up at least feels fresh, and nobody really associates Chipotle with greasy fried food. But don't be deceived by appearances, because some of Chipotle's menu items contain more calories, sodium and fat than you can possibly imagine. The worst thing you can order off their menu is the carnitas burrito in a flour tortilla with rice, beans, guac, cheese, queso and sour cream, along with a side of tortilla chips and queso. This meal combo results in a total of 2,220 calories, 117.5 grams of fat and 3,330 milligrams of sodium. Obviously, all of these totals are far above the FDA's recommended daily intake. It's almost impressive, in a way. Nobody ever pretended that fried chicken is good for you, but it turns out that Colonel Sanders' dirty little secret is a whole lot worse. The KFC Famous Bowl includes a kid-sized serving of popcorn chicken nuggets alongside mashed potatoes, gravy, shredded cheese and corn. It also comes packed with 740 calories, 35 grams of fat, 45 grams of cholesterol and 2,530 milligrams of sodium. A close runner-up for the title is the KFC Chicken Pot Pie. Despite appearing all harmless and wholesome, this monstrosity contains 720 calories, 41 grams of fat and 1,750 grams of sodium. And that's before you factor in the sides. Maybe you'd be better off with a bucket of chicken, after all. Burger King's most shockingly shameless menu item has got to be the triple whopper with cheese. After all, nobody, nobody needs three patties in a single burger. Curiously enough, though, it's not the chain's most unhealthy dish. Just looking at single menu items, the least healthy item on the Burger King menu is the Texas Double Whopper. Despite only containing two patties, this burger contains a staggering 1,876 calories, 136 grams of fat and 3,079 milligrams of sodium. Make that a large with a drink and a side and your meal could potentially rack up a mind-boggling 3,500 calories. BK even have a warning on their website attached to the Texas Double Whopper, which points out that... The sodium content of this item is higher than the total daily recommended limit, 2,300 milligrams. High sodium intake can increase blood pressure and risk of heart disease and stroke. Because nothing says fun meal out with the family like having to contend with your own mortality. It's far too easy to walk into a Taco Bell and order way too much food. After all, who could possibly resist getting some tacos with that burrito, throwing in a few nachos or even getting some churros for after? Nonetheless, it might surprise you to learn that the unhealthiest item at Taco Bell is actually one of the sides. Here, the top spot is held by the Nachos Bell Grande, which you might know better as those massive trays of nachos covered in taco meat, cheese sauce and sour cream. So what can you actually expect from the Nachos Bell Grande? 
Well, one of these bad boys comes packed with 740 calories, 38 grams of fat, and 1,050 milligrams of sodium. While that's not all bad compared to some of the other fast food items out there, it is still pretty high for a side dish. So unless you're planning on having only nachos, you might want to opt for something a little lighter to go alongside that quesadilla. Yeah, OK, so Subway has done pretty well at establishing a reputation for being one of the healthier fast food options. But that doesn't mean you can walk into your favourite sub shop, order anything off the menu and still expect it to be good for you. In fact, one item in particular on the menu is bound to leave you swimming in salt, the turkey and bacon guacamole wrap. Sure, it's innocent looking. You've got the tomato basil wrap filled with a heap of turkey, bacon, cheese, guacamole, some veggies, and then a little ranch dressing. Maybe the ranch dressing and guacamole are a little fattening, but overall, this looks like a safe bet until you see how much salt it contains. Somehow, this deceiving wrap contains a whopping 2,570 milligrams of sodium, which is just over the daily recommended intake. The summer exclusive Chick fil A peach milkshake is a cult favourite in the world of fast food. That said, it's probably a good thing that you can only order it during certain months of the year because this delightful summer treat is positively filled with sugar. 94 grams to be exact, which is equal to about 22 teaspoons of table sugar. And that's nearly double the FDA recommended daily 50 grams of added sugar or less. But that's not all, because the peach milkshake also includes 630 calories and 21 grams of fat. This means that if you wanted to burn off all the calories and sugar from downing one of these milkshakes, you'd need to walk for 169 minutes, run for 59 minutes, or cycle for 108 minutes. So next time you find yourself craving Chick-fil-A's peach milkshake, ask yourself, how far would you run for it? All things considered, Wendy's Pretzel Bacon Pub Burger looks pretty good. Wendy's new Pretzel Bacon Pub Cheeseburger. You want to smash it right in your mouth. Hard. Uh, th yeah, that, that's not the line. But the triple version of this burger really is something else. Nearly a pound of beef is fried up and topped with warm beer cheese, bacon, honey mustard, fried onions, three slices of cheese and pickles, and then tucked into a pretzel bun. What's not to love? Unfortunately, when it comes to the nutritional info, there's actually quite a lot not to love. With 1,520 calories, 106 grams of fat, and 1,940 milligrams of sodium, the triple version of this burger nearly accounts for all of your calories and sodium for the day and goes well above and beyond your recommended 78 grams of fat. So if you really want to experience the pub-inspired flavours of this specialty burger, you might have to lose a few of the beef patties and go with a single instead. Sure, you'll lose out a little on the sheer decadent meatiness of it all, but your arteries will thank you later. If you grew up in the 1990s, chances are you'll remember getting a personal pan pizza at Pizza Hut, usually in exchange for reading a few books. But did you know that Pizza Hut makes personal pan pizzas for adults too? Yes, you too can relive the nostalgia of your childhood by ordering up a pan-sized pie. You know, as long as you don't mind the calories. You see, just because a personal pizza is smaller, that doesn't make it much healthier than a serving of the chain's other pizzas. For example, if you go with a meat lover's personal pan pizza, you'll be getting 830 calories alongside it. That's pretty hefty for something so small, especially when you consider that if you purchase a meat lover's medium pizza, you could eat nearly eight pieces all on your own before you reach reached 830 calories. No one ever really expects to keep things healthy when they're going out for ice cream. Still, it'd be hard to order worse than Dairy Queen's least nutritious blizzard. The Royal Rocky Road Trip Blizzard is easily the chain's unhealthiest item. It's vanilla soft serve mixed with brownie pieces, peanuts and chocolate fudge all wrapped around a marshmallow core. A large version of this is packed with 1,510 calories, 70 grams of fat and a truly wild 151 grams of sugar. To paint a better picture, that's the equivalent of just under 36 teaspoons of sugar, or about three-fourths of a cup of sugar. It's a pretty sobering thought, especially when you consider that Dairy Queen even took the effort to use reduced fat soft serve rather than a full fat alternative. Honestly, at that point, why even bother? If you're planning on going to Arby's anytime soon, you might want to go ahead and skip over their spicy Greek gyro meal. 
You might not normally think of euros as particularly unhealthy, but this one takes the proverbial cake. It's stuffed with gyro meat, tomatoes, lettuce, onion, tzatziki sauce, some spices, and a spicy chili sauce. And while that may sound tame at first, this meal is packed with calories and fat. Specifically, if you include a small drink and small serving of fries, it comes out at 1,640 calories and more than 75 grams of fat. That puts you nearly at your daily fat threshold for the day, and pretty close to your calorie limit too. All things considered, you'd almost certainly be better off sticking to… well, pretty much anything else. If you thought Dairy Queen's unhealthiest dessert was bad, just wait until you see what they've got over at Sonic. Because while Sonic's shakes come in some truly awesome flavours, there's one item in particular that you may want to avoid. The Oreo peanut butter shake doesn't necessarily seem all that sweet and sugary, and the ingredient list is pretty tame too. Only including vanilla ice cream, peanut butter, Oreos, whipped topping, and a cherry. But looks can be deceiving, and at 1,720 calories for a large, it easily outranks basically every other dessert in the world of fast food. In terms of sugar, the Oreo shake comes with 107 grams of the good stuff, alongside 106 grams of fat and 1,130 milligrams of sodium. And this is supposed to be a drink. Best part of my day is when I'm at Dunkin'. You think that's sad? Yes, very. If you thought you were safe from the unhealthy evils of fast food just because you only get coffee at the drive through think again. Dunkin' seems to be doing their darndest to make your coffee the unhealthiest thing you'll consume all day, especially if you order the chain's butter pecan swirl frozen coffee with cream. At 1,160 calories, this is by far the unhealthiest item on the Dunkin' menu. You could eat multiple donuts for that same amount of calories, or even a full meal or two, if for some reason you're actually eating sensibly. Still, it kind of makes sense that the butter pecan swirl is so calorific, because this is one drink that tastes more like a dessert item than actual coffee. In addition to those calories, you'll also get 22 grams of saturated fat and 168 grams of added sugar, which is a staggering 236% over the recommended daily value. On top of all this, the drink also contains 393 milligrams of caffeine. To put that into perspective, it's recommended that most adults do not exceed 400 milligrams of caffeine per day. In other words, you probably shouldn't go back for another one. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about fast food chains are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.